Hey, my beautiful beauties, my wonderful lovelies, a pleasant afternoon to you. All right, beautiful people, listen to me. Let us just let us just be real with each other. I am not necessarily or particularly, you know, pleased with some of what I see the government doing, especially as it regards the people of Jamaica. I don't, I don't, I personally believe that, you know, they're really not so much concerned with the people of Jamaica, you know. Although you see a lot of road construction, road work and homes being built, the general populace is not necessarily being satisfied, especially economically. And my baby is about the, especially with public sector workers, not being remunerated in, in the ways that they really and truly should be. Look at what happened. A particular company, one man, when he work it out, he's getting between 18 to $20 million per month. And some people cannot even get 500000 dollars per month now i so i i'm i'm fully cognizant of what is happening and this is not only as it regards our present government this has been happening for even with you know um predecessors you know preceding um governments jamaica has just not thrived i can't see a term a four to five year term in which i see the country thrive in, in maybe about 2007, 2008, I saw where the, you know, where based on trajectory and if things had continued the way it, it, it would have, possibly, and then everything just went awry. But beautiful Jamaicans, when I listen to some of your posts, some of your posts are quite, quite disrespectful towards the prime minister. You can hit out against injustices. You can hit out against inequality where inequality should not be. Because injustice and inequality, they are two different things. And something um, may be unjust, but it doesn't mean it's, um, it's not equitable. I, it's very difficult for me to explain, but I will do that in another video. There are two different things. Or not because something is unjust, mean it's, it, you know, there's no equity there. Um, and... With that reality, I'm saying that we don't need to be rude. Sometimes I come across some posts and I say, no, oh no, that's very way out. God is going to hold you guys accountable. You're very rude. You don't need to speak about the prime minister using, you know, the language in which you use. He taught against any injustices that he's doing it. And if the, something is unfair, if you feel anything is unfair or not right, you can, but you don't need to be classing him like that. That's rude. Go and read Romans 13. It really was talking about secular leaders. Come on, guys. You have to do better. God shall and he will hold you accountable. Guys, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this message.